Hello everyone, I am Angelica Carubin from BTLED HD Corso. For today's video, it's all about on how to do a drop pattern for back and front bodies. Bodies are meant to be worn over a slip or chemise. Historically, a bodice was an article of clothing that covered the upper half of a person. A basic bodice black is a great starting point for most pattern involving your top half involving your top half it can be used to make tops and dress and paired with a sleep black can be used to make shirt blazers jacket and coats go a perpendicular line and mark the corner a a is the is the starting point A to get point B, measure 3 inch neck depth downward. Point A to get point C, measure 5.5 inches downward. 5.5 inches is chest height. A to D, you need to get half of the armhole. Example, armhole is 16 inches divided by 2 is equal to 8 inches and that is the point D. Point E, use the figure length. Example, the figure is 15 and a half inch. Then always start with point N and that is point E. Check points B, C, D, and E to the right with a straight line using roller. Use two and a half inches for neck width. Connect F to B using roller. Using a French curve, you can shape the neckline. The position of the French curve is looked like a letter J. A to G, use half shoulder measurement. Example, the shoulder is 13 inches divided by 2, that is 6.5 inches. Point G, measure 1.5 inch downward, and that is point H. A straight line downward using a ruler, connect F to H with a diagonal line using a ruler. Point I from C going to the right. Use half chest measurement. Let's say 11 and a half divided by 2, and that is 5 and 3 fourth, and that is point I. H to I with a diagonal line, line using a ruler. Point J start in point D in the bus measurement is 31 inch divided by 4 and that is 7 and 3 fourth and add 1 inch to the right and that is point J. Next, shape the armhole using a French curve from point G to J. Is point K start in point E to the right waist measurement. If 25 inches divided by 4, that is 6.5 inches plus 1.5 inches for the dart and that is point K. Connect J to K with a diagonal line using a roller. Point A to the right F, get the bus height like it is 8 inches. Measure it downward to get point L. Point M is start measuring from point E. Use half bus distance. Distance is 7.5 divided by 2. That is 3 and 3 fourth. And that is point M. Point M to O another 3 fourth. Point 
whether the distance of M and L is the same. L to M and L to N and L to 0 using roller. Hold the dart 0 to N then connect it to K with a straight line. And this will be the outcome. You need another manila paper and tracing paper. From point 0.8 downward, measure 1 inch to locate point 0.1, so that is the depth of the neckline. Shape it using curve from point F going to point 0.1. Back shoulder, you need to raise half inch, then connect F to 2. Connect F to 2 with a diagonal line using the ruler. The back arm hold move half inch to the right from point I going to the right and mark it as point 3. So get point 4 from point J to the left, measure half inch, measure half inch to the left of letter J. From point K to the left, measure half inch to get point 5, then connect for 5 with a diagonal line using a roller. Shape the back arm hold starting from point 2, passing to point 3, passing to point 4 using French curve. Connect 4.5 point vertical line using a ruler. Now proceed to the dart of back bodies. Start to point L upward, measure 1 inch, that is point 0.6. Then from M to the left, measure half inch and that is 7 and 8 to the right, half inch, that is 0.8. Connect 0.6 to M and then 0.6 to 7 and 0.6 to 8 with a diagonal line using a roller. Fold the back dart and connect 8 to 7 using your roller. Draw a straight line from point E to 5 to make the waistline straight. Let's now trace the marking. Transfer the lines of back bodies. You just trace it again. Hold the dart 
from 7 to 8 and then connect. This is the front and back bodies. Materials needed. 